I was getting ready to leave, but this tire is completely loose. See that? It's broke off here. There's supposed to be something co completely covering that. Like this one. It has a long t um, tube that covers it. It's broke off here. And this one's fine. Even back there, see? It's loose. I'm glad I noticed that before I got on the road. That could have been really dangerous. Ugh. I brought the dolly over here to American Tire Depot. So hopefully they can figure out, or not figure out, I know what's wrong with it. But hopefully they can fix it. We'll see. Look, that car has itsy bitsy tires. Those things are small. They look like go-kart tires. <laughs> That's funny. Just talked to the guy and he said it's going to be three fifty because the whole assembly and that includes um, the bearings and everything. And they're going to repack um, the other bearings on the other side free of charge. That's not bad. And I'll be back on the road. And I just would rather it be safe than have to worry about it. I was having problems with it when I left Myrtle Beach because the grease cap kept on falling off so I knew something was gonna go wrong with that so at least it's, it'll be all fixed 350 that's not bad I'd actually looked into um, getting one of the hitches that you put on your car and um, through Camping World and that was almost $1,700 to get it installed and everything and honestly I just don't want to dish out that money I'd rather just pay the 350 and call it a day well, that was my dilemma, so hopefully they get it fixed here at American Tire Depot. I'm back at Harbor Freight and uh, Walmart. There's Sookie over there. So hopefully tomorrow they can, or he said that he's got one more place to try. And that he's going to um, see if he can do that today. If not, then he'll just uh, try some places tomorrow and give me a call. If they have to order it, they might. But, um, I don't know. We'll see. I'll be keeping my fingers crossed and keep a positive attitude. This is my third day in this parking lot. Don't want to push my luck, so moving the car to the street and finding a new boondocking spot until the dolly is ready. I had to special order the part. I'm just leaving her on the side of the road because it's actually better than in a parking lot. They actually look out for the parking lots. Here on the roads, I think they give you 72 hours. So, and see there's an RV up there. And I'm walking back to Panda now. Yep, I guess they just allow, if you're not too big, they allow you to park on the side of the road. Well, if I walk these roads or uh, these sidewalks every day, I'd definitely get a workout. Panda right there. Not that bad of a walk. All right, um, time to move Panda. I am headed down to the harbor. I met a nice family, uh, husband and wife and um, four kids. They stay in an RV. And they said that uh, there was free parking down by the harbor. You could park there for 72 hours. So I'm headed down there. This is Surf Rider. And I just passed the road pandas on, which was Nevada. And that's where my trailer is, right there. Yep, that's where my trailer is, right there. My dolly getting fixed. They're ordering the part for it. And a train is coming. It's more like a passenger train. Take the train to the game. Yeah, it was just a passenger train. 
There's the ocean. I'm gonna go. Let's see. Can I go? Can I go? Can I go? Yep. All right. I'm going. Oh, beautiful. They said it was right across the street from Joe's Crab Shack. It should be right up here. Yep, free parking. What? How in the heck are you supposed to get in there? I think I found it. Well... That's a bit annoying. Hmm. So this is the space that they told me about. And Panda's in her spot. There are actually plenty of RVs here. Harbor Lot 1, free parking, no camping, which I guess they don't enforce that. A 72 hour maximum, no alcohol, no littering, single space parking only, tandem space parking allowed for overflow boat trailer parking. Hi. This is where I thought you turned in, but it's actually um, just a walk into the parking lot. You actually have to go all the way around and come on the back side. There's the marina and water right there. And Joe's Crab Shack. And I'm going to walk and get um, Sookie so that she's closer. I guess you can go in that way. You just have to be a certain height. Nine feet high, eight feet wide. I didn't want to risk it. They also have shops down here. There's another shot of the marina. It's a cool area around here. They have bike trails. There it goes. Pretty cool. Oceanside is a really beautiful area. I guess it's fortunate that um, I had the trailer breakdown. I mean, not fortunate in that way, but it's fortunate because I got to stay a little longer in Oceanside and actually experience it a little bit more. So I guess things do happen for a reason. I will say one thing, they do squeeze these places really tightly together. There's hardly any space in between them. Well, I made it to Surf Rider and this cuts all the way back up to where Suki is parked. I'm just gonna move her to the parking lot. That way I can keep an eye on her. That wasn't that bad. Here comes Nevada, which is the street I parked Suki on. They've got a lot of these alleyways, but of course no parking. But you can park on the streets. There's a certain time, it's every first and third Monday between certain hours. I think it's like um, 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. every first and third Monday. There's my car. Yay! Well, it was almost empty so I stopped and got a little bit of gas. Just ten dollars worth. So I don't like to carry around too much gas if I have to get up and go. But I'm gonna be waiting on my dolly. So I guess I'll be going anywhere anytime soon. But there's Panda. I'm going to move her up a little bit so that way I can pull Suki behind her. Well it's my first night here in the harbor and it's pretty quiet. There are other RVs. Yep, pretty quiet. I've been playing some video games and watching some of my shows. That is not quiet though. <laughs> there goes.
has a train. I'm just gonna um, turn my swamp cooler on. It kind of drowns out most of the noise. And, yep, it's almost midnight, so I'm going to go to bed. All right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. Thanks for coming along. Bye.